okay, lack of money, monkey with a bow tie. Lack of money, monkey with a bow tie. Monkey with a bow tie. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out Sync again. I'm not really sure how this one slipped under my radar. This has got a lot of elements that I like in a game. It's turn-based tactical combat, so I'm immediately interested in that. It's got some RPG elements in that we're building up characters and getting their skills higher and equipping them and whatnot. It's got a little bit of tycoon in that we're buying and selling things all over the area and building up our money. We're upgrading our ship. It's got a lot of boxes to tick off in games that I like. I'd never heard of it. Never heard of this before in my life. It popped up on the Steam Halloween sale as recommended to me for all of the reasons that I just mentioned, obviously, and I threw it on my wish list and thought I'd have a think about it, and then it was very kindly gifted to me by a very good, very generous friend of the channel who sent this along and basically said, you know what, this does look like your kind of thing. Why don't you check out Sync again? And then when I opened up the load screen to this, there was a monkey in in a wig with a sword. And I said, if this is a game where I can get a monkey in a wig with a sword, then this is the kind of game that I want to play. I noticed there's a monkey right there. He has neither a wig nor a sword, but possibly those are perks or upgrades I can give him later. I have done the tutorial for this. Shut up. I really did the tutorial. Stop laughing. Well, I did... I did the tutorial, I kind of skimmed it. So we're going to dive right in. I have sort of a vague idea of what we're supposed to be doing, but as usual, I'm largely just firing it up and hitting record. Let's take a look at Sync again. So the first thing we have to do is select a scenario. Now, I have no idea what this entails. I really don't. This was not covered in the tutorial. I don't know if this is a long-range story that we'll get involved with, or if this just sort of sets the parameters of how the game is going to go. I don't know. But we've got a lot of options here, like Monopoly. What are you going to do? All right, so if we started at normal mode, we'll start with the ship, the Sharky. Enemy pirates will have less HP and an unknown pirate traits at the taverns, right? But our reward will be an unknown battleship. Okay, or we could put it on hard mode, start with no bonus, pirates gain less experience, pirate will die if knocked out, so permadeath, and enemy ships and pirates have more HP. Well, that doesn't sound like the wee hours at all. No, no, no. We do normal, normal, normal here. Normal, normal, normal. Anything I can learn about the story itself? No. No, it's a bit of a mystery. Okay. Fountain of Eternal Youth. And this will have... Okay, all of the same parameters for easy or hard, or rather normal or hard. I could put it on easy. I could put it on easy, but we do normal here. We do normal, normal, normal. Now, this is starting out with the priest. I'm immediately skeptical, but... Dude's got a lot of rewards. An unknown trait will unlock by completing this scenario. Well, another unknown trait. And, okay, four unknown traits will unlock. How about Fish Day? What's that going to do? What are my rewards for you? Ooh, unknown equipment. Oh, I like things. Anyone knows me knows that. I like having things. Oh, I like that. That's a good idea. How about Flying Dutchman? Unknown Island. Yeah, okay. Prisoners of Conscience? Unknown characters. That's fun. That is good. I'm leaning towards Fish Day, because you've got four things. I'd like to have one thing, and you're offering me four. We're going with Fish Day. What do I want my starting bonus to be? I mean, flat out 500 gold. Flat out 500 gold. A random item. That's, again, that's a thing. I do like things. Treasure map. Okay, that's that's good. A ship upgrade, right, because there's going to be, a, I guess, some ship-to-ship -ship combat in this. I haven't experienced that in the tutorial, but it exists. We're going to be doing ship-to-ship -ship combat at some point. Or a pirate hunter's bonus. Meh, play with no pirate hunters. That's, that's kind of easy mode, and we do normal here. I'm just taking the money. Take the money and run. I want gold. I want money, 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 money. So we start out here in Tortuga with our basic pirate ship and literally nothing. I was told this in the tutorial. We're starting out with nothing but our boat ship. 
I guess. You can put a boat on a ship, but you can't put a ship on a boat. That's how I remember that. So we've got to start with getting uh, some pirates. We have nobody. We have no crew. And if I recall, we go to the tavern. Uh, yeah, there we go. And we can hi Oh my god, the monkey. Oh my god, we can get the monkey right away. I totally did not know that. I kind of messed around with this before I started recording, and these characters... Well, the monkey was not available. This lady was available, and this guy was available. Oh my god, we're getting the monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Uh, Carlos Three Fingers Brown is my monkey. This is the best game. I'm already a fan. I can immediately have a monkey as my pirate. Chimpanzee. We're calling him a monkey. Okay, uh, how much... I don't care how much it costs me to hire you. It actually costs me nothing. I think my first pirate is free. And then after that, I have to um, start paying for them. So whatever it is you do, I literally don't care. We're hiring a monkey. Oh, all right. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, now that we've got the monkey down, and I can only have one more. I can only have a crew of two. These are blocked probably until I do more things, until I unlock more things. Now, do I want sort of voodoo guy from Live and Let Die or just like generic pirate number one? Or kind of cool haircut lady. I'm thinking kind of cool haircut lady. Can I can I tell things about you? Yeah, I can. Well, I can tell you have no injuries. And you have no equipment because you're just a hand weapon. So you have what? What do we got here? You have a little bit of extra strength. You have a little bit of extra base resistance. That's always a good thing. You, come on, come on, hover. There we go. You are faster. You can plus two on your running and plus one level bonus. That's good. So speed points will be added to my movement point after we roll movement dice. Right. Okay. And then you're lucky. All right. You've got a lot of good traits here. I like you. You have three unknown traits that I don't know yet. Uh, that's the basic definition of unknown is that I don't know it yet. How about generic pirate number one? What's your deal? You have no extra strength. You have a little bit of extra resistance, a little bit of extra speed, not as much as Cool Haircut Lady, and you're lucky. And contestant number two, you also, you lose the total speed bonus, you still keep the resistance and the luck, and you, ah, you've got some different traits. You are quite a bit stronger, you have less resistance, but you have speed and the luck. I like you, and I like, I like that, see, you're faster. And I, I feel in turn-based tactical, that's got to be a good move. I've already got the monkey, so I don't. Re it doesn't really matter whom else I hire because monkey check. Yeah, and just like I thought, the monkey is free, but I gotta pay for cool haircut lady. So two forty to hire her. Well, good thing I took that extra gold. Great, good. So I've got my two pirates. I've got three fingers. The monkey. This, this is great. I have a monkey. I'm so getting you a wig. I'm so going to find a wig for you. And I'm um, kind of cool haircut lady. Great. Good. Done. Fantastic. Um, they have no gear, though. Oh, my God. They're amazing. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that's great. They have no gear. So I've got three places. Now, let's see if I can do this from the tutorial. The store is going to have, like, your basic gear, like arms and armor kind of thing. We're going to look at that in a sec. The voodoo witch is going to have, like, the more magically gear. And then the market is where we're going to do the sort of tycoon elements, where we're going to buy and sell things as we go along. Let me have a look at that right now. Okay, the market of Tortuga is buying these products with the best price. So if I had some spice, I could sell it 42% higher than I would somewhere else. That's really good. I don't have anything. I have nothing except a monkey and a lady with a cool haircut. Um, if I had some fabric, that would be doing really, really well here. Now, in terms of what I could buy here, and I can buy stuff. I've got, you know, I have the money. I could get some cocoa, and it's cheaper here by 21% than it is somewhere else. So if I bought some cocoa here, took it somewhere else, and found somewhere that had a high buy price for it, that would not be a bad thing. Or powder or bananas. Okay, here's my rationale. We've got a monkey. Therefore, we're buying some bananas, and they're actually pretty cheap. We're going to buy some bananas, and this is going in my ship hold. Ooh, which only has two out of six spots. Ooh, okay. All right, we're only getting two loads of bananas right now. Yeah, two loads, please. Thank you. We've got a monkey. 
We've got bananas. We are halfway to winning this game. Let's see if we can get some people equipped here. All right, this is the store. So yeah, here we go. Basic arms and armor kind of thing. So a toy gun, no special effects. Okay, why do I want that then? It's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. But why do I want that? A cleaver. There we go. 15% chance to slow down an enemy. That seems very good. And plus one attack dice. It's only 120. It's only 120. And it's a main weapon. It's going to go in my right hand. Uh, shovel. We need a shovel. Okay, we, we flat out need a shovel. Uh, the tutorial was like super, super clear about having a shovel on you at all times. Because really what we do is dig for treasure. That's kind of the overall broad sweeping goal. Find treasure. Dig it up with a shovel. And I can attack with it. So I could do that. I could have this as a weapon and digging for treasure. We cannot get the treasure without a shovel. That's how pirates work. So I should get one. I mean, I'm just going to get one. Uh, just get it. Okay, now here we go. It can go to the personal inventory of somebody, to the ship inventory, or I can give it to specifically one of these two people, either Cool Haircut Lady or, of course, Three Fingers the Monkey. Put it in the ship inventory for right now. Put it in there. We, we need it. We got to have it. What is this thing? A sacrificial dagger. And it can do a diagonal melee attack. Oh, I didn't even know that existed. Chance to poison. Plus two attack dice. 10% luck. And minus two resistance. I can live with minus two resistance. It's only 300. And I took the extra gold. That seems like a really, really good weapon. A witch sack. That's also chance to poison. Intellect dice. Intellect face. I'm not 100% sure what the face part means. I'm, I'm sure somebody will explain it to me. Um, and then what? A bow tie. Oh my god. I can have a monkey with a bow tie. Yes. Uh, you. If I highlight you, then everything will just start going to you now. Uh, yes. Yes. I don't care what it costs. I, actually, I do kind of care what it costs me. It's very expensive. But monkey with a bow tie. Okay. Lack of money. Monkey with a bow tie. Lack of money. Monkey with a bow tie. Monkey with a bow tie. That is going to... Um, yeah. No, that Equip that. Equip that immediately. He has a bow tie on. He now has a bow tie on. It's kind of weirdly on his chest. It looks like a very tiny bra, but it, it's a monkey with a bow tie. Now, you are specifically supposed to be monkey with a sword. That's what was in the load screen. I don't actually... There's no swords available for sale. I could give you the sacrificial dagger. I got to think what I'm giving cool haircut lady, though. Uh, tie fish. Oh, it's a different kind of bow tie. It's an epic bow tie. No, no, that's fine. This is a polka dot bow tie. That's better. That's demonstrably better. All right. See, if I give you... I could just give you the cleaver and then give you... Because you're wicked fast. You. Sh it seems like you should have the, the sacrificial dagger. Okay, I'm going to give monkey with a bow tie the cleaver. And we're going to find you a sword later. You don't, you don't even worry about that, man. You don't even worry. Now, you're quite strong. I didn't even look at your traits because you're a monkey. I don't care what your traits are. You could be the worst character in the world. I'm still getting you. Um, you could have maybe like a shield. And that'll actually have a chance to slow down an enemy. That's super pricey, though. That's wicked expensive at 650. Is there something cheaper? Wooden shield, 200. Yeah, why don't you have that? Okay, so now you got a dagger, well, a cleaver and a shield and a bow tie. I love it. I got a thousand gold left. I can't blow it all on this. Now, you should have, I'm going to give you the sacrificial dagger. Absolutely. Yeah. Equip that, please. And then that might be about it. What's this? A hunting net. Chance to slow. And, ooh, you'd get more speed. You'd be even faster than you are right now. Oh, wait a minute. Your traits are revealed. Now that I've, I've paid for you, your traits are revealed. What are they? Sharp mind, plus one intellect. Great. You're a bully. You act defiantly and always becomes the target of an enemy attack if the enemy can reach him or her. All right, so they're going to go to you. They're going to go straight to you. I should have given you the shield. I could, I could flip it around later. That's fine. And you're a runner. You have more speed. Does that is that in addition to your plus three, do you now have plus five speed? And didn't you get something off of this? No, you got extra attack, not extra speed. Okay. 
you're like super quick. All right, what's what's the monkey's traits? For God's sakes, Dave, what is the monkey's traits? You have low resistance. Okay, you're a sickly monkey. You are better on attack. You have persistence. And you're passive-aggressive plus one strength. I have a passive-aggressive monkey in a bow tie. Game of the year. Well, this would probably be good. The shark teeth is plus one defense. And you're going to get attacked more than the monkey. So, and it's cheap. It's pretty cheap. So I'm going to give you the shark teeth. You'll be a little better defended because you lose that. So now we've got a net zero here. Uh, you've Oh, actually, you've got minus two with the sacrificial dagger. Ah, but now it'll it'll cancel each other out. Okay, right, 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 right. So this is actually, you know, keeping up with the gear that I'm giving you. It's adjusting as I give you gear. So you had plus one. You lost minus two with the dagger, but now you're another plus one. Okay, it all works out. It's all math. Let's go visit the voodoo witch. So she's got a lot of weird stuff for sale, but I didn't see this before. I can also hypnotize my pirates to set their traits. Can I change your traits? Okay, select a pirate. I'll select you. Oh, I would randomize it, though. And it costs some money. I don't want to spend that money. But that's kind of neat. I could just mess with you. Interesting. Interesting. I might do that to the monkey with the low resistance. Think about that. And heal injuries. Obviously, we don't have any injuries. Oh, I didn't know injuries were actually going to be targeted. Okay. In the tutorial, it's it's basically a gimme battle, so you don't really suffer any injuries. Heal right eye, heal left eye. Okay, so you'll actually get hit in specific, specific places. Go back to buying and selling here. What do you got? Golden Scroll casts Voodoo of Fortune. Plus 20 luck to allies, minus 20 luck to enemies. And it lasts for three turns. Okay. Bottle of rum. Drink it. Better defense. Voodoo of stamina. Plus four speed. All right. Skull staff of blood. Plus eight speed to allies. Minus eight speed to enemies. Oh, dang. You got all sorts of cool stuff. Coconut milk. Drink that for speed. African voodoo doll. Voodoo of anger. Okay. Got some stuff. This is completely randomized. These are not the things that I saw either in the tutorial or in messing around with it on my own time. Silver monkey skull. Ooh, that's a healing item. That's a healing item. That's good. It's a right hand thing, though. It's a right hand weapon. And you've got something in your right hand. We might just set this aside then. If that's all you've got right now, that's also a right hand weapon. I mean, I can change gear as we're going through the dungeons, but. I don't really want to. Anything? You got anything for the left hand? No. No, not really. Okay. I don't want anything from the, the witch lady, in which case, with 892, I'm just going to skim back to the store here and see if there's anything else I can give cool haircut lady like that shield. That's going to basically take almost all my money. But it's really good. It's really good. And she's going to get attacked pretty much all the time. So congrats. You are getting a very expensive shield. Try not to break it. And just in case I forget, I'm going to move the shovel to the personal items just to make sure we have it on us and I don't accidentally leave it on the ship and then go into a dungeon and go, uh-oh, I didn't bring my shovel with me. I've got a monkey with a bow tie. I just, I can't say that enough times. Now, we need something to do. So, oh, wait though, wait though, wait though. We don't have a captain. Hang on. Registry office. I can assign a captain. Oh, monkey. Oh, monkey. A uh, captain gets a bonus, or rather gives a bonus. Lights up the room. Cure, yeah, okay. So crew captain spreads unique bonus. What is lights up the room, though? What do I, what does that mean to me? I, maybe it means we sort of have a glow about us. I don't know. And what would your bonus be? 5% luck. That's pretty good. Maybe she should be the captain. Yeah, no, I, now that I'm saying that, I think she is the captain because the monkey is more of a power behind the throne kind of character. The monkey is the schemer here, um, but will not be troubled with actually being the face of authority. You, you are now the captain, and we, we can't have the Northern Star as our name. 17 clicks through randomized name, and I've got Bacon in the Sun. 
I didn't choose this. This was completely randomized. But that is the name of our ship now. The Bacon in the Sun, headed by Captain Abigail, Abigail Bells Becker, and, and her monkey. This, this is great. Let's find something to do. Oh, and she gets a captain's hat now. She gets a captain -y pirate hat. Uh, quest. What have we got? Oh, it's the fish lady. Okay, good. You don't look like local tourists. You look like someone who knows how to solve other people's issues. Is that so? Oh, uh, largely, yes. I have a monkey, if that helps. My name is Henrietta Kowalski, owner of the tavern. Must have noticed how crowded it is compared to the other taverns. People come here from everywhere to taste our signature dish, Polish crabs, a local delicacy. Right on. But my business here could be shaken. Drunken fishermen discussed recently that they are going to bring Madagascar catfish. They grow big like pigs. Yeah. Uh -huh. They want to release the fish that have never been found there. Oh, no, no, that's a terrible idea. No, no, you don't want to release a strange animal into an unknown ecosystem. Everybody knows that. Problem is not the catfish themselves. They feed on the algae the same as the Polish crabs do. Understand what I'm getting at. They're going to disrupt the fragile ecosystem. Okay. So what do you need me to do exactly? I know the consignments of Madagascar catfish and other exotic fish, ex excuse me, exotic fish, are already in the holds of some local merchants. Bring me some of the boxes. As soon as the military finds out that you have eyes on their merchants, they'll immediately rush here with their entire fleet. Yo, okay, uh, there is no time to wait. Don't let the merchants release the fish into the Caribbean water. I won't stay in debt. In the holds of merchants there, there are many other exotic fish that can be useful for you. Okay, do you think I'm kidding? You fulfill my request. Good luck. No time to think. What exactly is it that you need me to do? Rob merchant ships and steal crates of exotic fish. Oh. Okay. Right. So, um, I guess that ship-to-ship -ship combat thing may be coming in more faster than I thought. Well, off to sea, let's take a look at the map, because we don't know anything. We, don't, we only know Tortuga. But there's a bunch of other islands here that we could kind of head towards. I don't know exactly the parameters of this quest. I don't know if I have to seek out other ships and take them out. Or if those crates are going to be on islands. And each island, as I understand it, is basically one dungeon. Go to an island, do the dungeon. So let's just, let's just go over here. Let's stay local for right now. Um, so go over there. That should have set a marker somewhere on my compass. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I got a little blue compass marker here. So I'm just kind of sail in this direction. Oh, and I want to turn it on right up here. Is it up here? Auto fire. So if something hostile comes our way, uh, we will just automatically start shooting at it, which is good because I probably won't notice it until it's far, far too late. Oh, we're rolling up on the island here. Church of noobs. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Slow down. We just crashed on the beach there. Um, I, I, I may have just floundered the ship there. Okay, um, circle, church of noobs. Excuse me. Church of noobs. Slow the ship down here. Okay, there we go. Gotta get into our little port here. No, no, we're going the wrong way. Probably the monkey is steering. This is no surprise. Well, after some careful steering there, we've made it into town. Doesn't look like they have much for us to do here. I'm going to check their market real quick. What they've got, they would love to buy some wood or some jewelry. They're not so interested in bananas, though. Yeah, they're selling these pretty cheap. So we're just going to move right along. Actually, anything good in your store? I basically spent all my money. Anything good in your store? What's that? A hand fire torch. Lights up the room. I think that's the, the perk that the monkey had. I think we would have a permanent illumination around us. Ooh, and a treasure map. I can't afford it. Map will show you where the treasure digged at the dungeon of Stormy Hawk. I think Church of Noobs is not really where we want to be. Oh, hang on, hang on. We've, we've got a thing. I was sailing to another island, but I've got a little ship icon over here. Is that, uh, is that somebody I'm supposed to be dealing with? Oh, you look like a... Oh, you're pirates. You're pirates. I'm also pirates, but I'm not very good at pirate. Uh, I'm just going to land. I'm going to whatever... Oh, Stormy Hawk. That's the thing that we, uh, we, we just almost didn't get a map to. Uh, slow it down. Enter the dungeon. Yes, quickly before... Um, quickly enter... Quickly, quickly enter the dungeon. Thank you. I don't want to be under attack anymore. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, right. I don't know if those guys are going to be there when we get out. I think my ship might be about to sink, honestly. And no surprise, Monkey gets to go first because Monkey is best. So welcome to Stormy Hawk. 
Difficulty normal, dungeon type over trapped. All right, so there's going to be a lot of traps here. And what can I do? I can do a protective stance. All right, well, let's... I got one door there and one door there. Is there anything I can interact with in this room? No. All right, well, let's go to the door. Off you go, three fingers. I, I need to zoom in on you, three fingers, because you're just... Well, you're a monkey with a bow tie. Open the door. What do we got? Okay, nothing that I can immediately see. No enemies. Take a step in. Okay, so far so good. And now I've got check for traps. Yes. Check for... I don't know how intelligent the monkey is. But check for traps, please. We failed. Okay, that's less good. And now you're kind of stuck in the door. That's unfortunate. All right, well... Abigail, why don't you head to the next door? Why don't you go along there, and you can open that door. And then any enemies that I can see. A skeleton in a stockade, another door, and some kind of chest. Okay, take a tentative step in. Check for traps. We know this place has a lot of traps. It said so when we came in. Ah, success. Did we... Did we de Hang on, go back. Did we deal with the traps? Have we dealt with the traps? I know I rolled 11 steps. I'm coming back to that in a sec. All right, I hope we dealt with the traps. Okay, three fingers. Take another tentative step in and check for traps again. Please succeed this time. I know you're not the smartest monkey. Also a fail. Okay, that's, that's unfortunate. So we get to move and we get to do an action. So I could move and hit something, I could move and check for traps, I could move and open a box, I get to move and then do a thing. Well, this room should be clear. I mean, we, we checked for traps and we were successful there. So why don't you go over here and we'll check out this box, see what we can do with that. Now, can I open the box? I cannot. No, I'm out of everything right now. All right, well, then just stand defensively and look cool. Well, we've got plenty of steps for the monkey, but I'm concerned about the double... Ah, there's a trap. There's a trap. I should have checked for traps before we moved. Darn it. Okay, stand. I think I have to stand directly in front of the chest. Yes. It is a finicky, like I can't open it from the side or diagonally. Open the chest up. What do we got? Uh, 40 things. I don't know what those are. Maybe experience. Ah, what? what's this? Fireworks. It's a grenade. Affect all characters at the area. Inflict area effect. It stuns. It's a stun grenade. Oh, yeah. We're, we're totally taking that. Absolutely. Why would I not? And 257 gold. Cool. Can I put that in your inventory, like, right now? What What is this? Open inventory. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. I would like you... Well, I think... Do you have... I'd have to change it with your sacrificial dagger. Okay, it's a right-hand weapon. I'd have to change it with your sacrificial dagger. Right, what else was in this room? You're not going anywhere, but what else was in this room? You could head over to that door. But I feel... I feel we probably shouldn't do that. I feel we should team up again. Well, I'm going to have the monkey check for traps again. Just so... I mean, we only took one little tick of... It's another fail. All right, stand tentatively in front of the chest. Is that not... Oh, I've already done my action. Yeah, I've already done my action. Because I, I checked for traps. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Just end your turn right there. There's no enemies, so there's no real reason to sit around being all defensive and whatnot. Now, well, the only place you really can end up is over here. I'd kind of like... Kind of like Monkey in a bow tie to finish his job, and then we could both team up over here. That would be my goal. So why don't you just end your turn back to Monkey... Yop. We rolled, what, an 11? 10. Okay. Right, because you have a, a minus on something. Okay, open the chest, hoping it's not also trapped. And we get, what is this? Wine. Plus two strength, plus two resistance for three turns. Yeah, that's cool. Great. Grab And 319 gold. I would love to keep going down here, but I'm just going to go here, and then next turn I'm going to check for traps again. Now, Captain Abigail could go right for the door, but I think we're going with a team up. I'm going to bring her over with the monkey, because I saw there's another door over here. So we may as well take advantage of teaming up, being in the right place at the right time, all that kind of good stuff. I am going to have you check for traps again. Maybe you'll succeed this time. Oh, you got a big 
bunch of four-leaf clovers. I assume you were being a little more lucky. Didn't really work out, though. Okay, hopefully no traps this way. Hopefully no traps. All right, that seems to have worked out okay. This is where that speed is paying off. Captain Abigail just rolled 15 movement. So we are going to get all the way up with our monkey pal over here. Oh, another trap. I should have had you check for traps. You were better at it. I just, I assumed once we triggered a trap, that was it, but it was exactly the same trap. Okay, that's, oh, sorry, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do with you. All right, well, you know what? Check for traps. We're just going to keep checking for traps in this room. This room has not been kind to us. Okay, one more time with the reasonably smart captain. Check for traps. Also a fail. Who? This room. This room is no good. All right, we're getting out of this room. We're just heading for the door. Although, obviously, we're going to open the chest before we do that. So what's in here? What do we got kicking around? We have... Oh, we have the torch. Okay, that's cool. I will, we'll grab that. We'll grab that. So go ahead and head up here, and then we're basically ready to open the door. I'm going to have you end your turn, and I'm going to have... Oh, I should have put her probably in defensive stance or something. Oh, but I've already done an action. Never mind, it's all fine. Open the door, open the door. What do we got? Any... Oh, yes. Yes, we have sweet lips and shotgun. Who is also a monkey? Oh, God, it's going to be monkey on monkey war. Oh, and, and fish. Oh, were those the fish I'm supposed to get? Maybe they're in this chest. All right, monkey on monkey war. How are we going to play this? How, do they know I'm here? I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if they just automatically start attacking when we open their area. Or if we're sort of, I guess, concealed at this point. But one way or another, I'm going to have you go up here and then... Enter your defensive stance, and you're probably going to do exactly the same thing. I don't want to create... I'd rather they came through the bottleneck than me. So I'm going to have you go up here. You're going to go defensive. Yes, they do know we're here. Yeah, shotgun here is all about doing us some no good harm. You're drinking something. I don't know what you drank, but you drank something, some kind of buff. All right, Sweet Lips is coming. Sweet Lips has got a net. And Sweet Lips has fallen into my trap. I, I'm not sure what my trap was, but it was base. Oh, wow. Oh, he has a, an AOE. He hit both of us. Okay. All right. Okay. Good news. We can attack him diagonally because of that sacrificial dagger. Right? I think that's, that's if I remember that correctly. Okay. You, you should just like attack something. You've got the wine. That's good. Probably don't drink wine right now. So just basic old... Cleaver attack, please. Thank you. Bunch of dice are rolling. And then we're going to take our dagger out. Oh! Oh, we wrecked Sweet Lips. We just took Sweet Lips down to the floor. There's a sentence I thought, never thought I'd say in my life. Okay, Um. then, yeah, you're fine. Stay right there, Chief. Stay right there. Now, I assume Shotgun with a gun, which he clearly has on his back, has some sort of ranged attack which I don't have. So we, I can rush him. We have so much movement points. I can just rush this guy. Hope there's no traps in here. There was, there was a trap in there, wasn't there? There was, was there a trap in there? I think you hit a trap. Okay. I didn't see it. It was off camera, but you just stopped. So I'm pretty sure you hit a trap. Three fingers. You, ooh. If we rush him though, we're in a bottleneck. We really need him to come to me. So you come here. Ah, th it's the trap right there in front of your face, Dave. And um, Captain Abigail is mostly dead. Mostly dead. Yeah. Um, can we check for traps now? Because it will shut them off. There we go. Okay. All right. It was right in front of your face, Dave. You actually saw it. Okay. Captain Abigail. We don't really have any healing items. So you're in... Bit of a pickle. Maybe I should bring him back here. You, Captain Abigail, come back here, and, and then Monkey, stay there. Captain Abigail is done, because we checked for traps and then we moved. Yes, we're done. I want to try and lead him through here. Wait, can you attack from there? Are you attacking from there? No, you're doing your movement dice. Okay. You're coming in, you're coming in, you're coming in. I don't quite know. Oh, you're attacking. Uh, don't attack the captain. 
but people are more inclined to attack the captain because people hate her. Okay, passive-aggressive monkey with a bow tie, here we go. I really need you to do this again. I need you to just wreck this guy, please, because Captain Abigail is about to die. So, uh, not quite enough to take him down. Okay, shotgun is... Actually, can I see your health? Yeah, shotgun is badly injured. Badly injured. One good hit should do it. What are your traits while I'm here? You have a healthy liver. Twice less chance to be poisoned. We did see a lot of stuff with poison effects, so okay, that's a good trait for you to have. You're cont you have a contusion. Twice more chance to be stunned. Okay, good to know about you. I probably should have checked these out before I entered combat. And you have a little extra defense, right? Uh, so who's whose turn is it? Uh, okay, you're done. You're not. I don't need you to move. Just stay there. So Captain Abigail, you kind of need to finish the job. Because I don't think you can survive an attack, and because your trait, he's more likely to attack you. So, Sacrificial Dagger. Yeah, this does have a chance to poison, but he'll be less chanced to poisoned thing. Anyway, hit him with your dagger. Please eliminate uh, Shotgun the Monkey. You missed. Yeah, that's, um... Actually, I don't know if you missed or you just did no damage. Uh, you kind of need to leave. You know what? You're going to have way more movement, and I don't think there's any attacks of opportunity in this game. I don't think we take any penalties for breaking away from combat. Uh, so we're back to Monkey with a bow tie. Three fingers brown. Do your thing. You need to... You are becoming the tank of this group, which is unfortunate because everyone is likely to attack the other one, but please, thank you! You did just enough damage. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now, as far as I remember from the tutorial... Once the traps have been diffused, they're diffused all over the room. And I see diffuse, 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 which is their little weird word for you shut the traps off. So I don't think we need to worry about those again. I think I can send three fingers here over to the chest. Or, yeah, you're moving over there. I probably won't even bother with the captain. I think we've kind of got this dungeon under control right now. Open the chest. Now, does this have the fish that I'm looking for? Uh, you have a gold monkey skull. Plus 40 luck to allies, and minus 40 to enemies. That's very good. And an axe fish. Okay, it's not the fish I'm looking for, but it's a weapon fish. Well, definitely take it. Definitely take it. Not what I'm looking for, though. So, okay, I'm going to navigate the team back to the other door. And by team, I largely mean monkey with a bow tie, because I'm only just realizing now that I sent the captain back into that trap that we never diffused. Yeah. So, uh, she's down. It's all, it's all three fingers now. It's 100% three fingers. Who's terrible at detecting traps? And there's, there's another trap right there. It, it exists. We can actually see it. Let's see. Well, now that I know where it is, I can get a little bit closer to it. Maybe, I don't know if my chance to detect traps goes up the closer I am to them. I have no idea. But Henrietta's down. I'm glad we didn't do it on hardcore mode where Henrietta or whatever her name is. Anyway, the captain would be dead. Don't know why I keep coming up with Henrietta. Anyway, monkey, check for traps. Uh, please find it. You failed. Okay. Maybe, maybe we should just cut our losses with this dungeon and leave. I can leave right now. I can just exit the dungeon because there are no active enemies. That being said, I can afford to walk across the, the trap. I've got the health for it. But if we get into another combat, I'm down a person. I think we just cut our losses and call it a day with this dungeon. Oh, it was Abigail. I was remembering her name correctly. Excellent. Well, three fingers leveled up, which is just fantastic. We found a bunch of things. That's good. Quite a bit of money. I like that. You know what I don't know? I don't know if we can sell items to the shop. And I guess that dungeon is done now. Once we've done the dungeon, that's it. I don't think we can get back in there. We get one shot at it. So enter the island real quick. Because I think we got to take all... Wait. Oh, never mind. We're back in the dungeon. Ha. Huh. Well, fine. I just completely take back everything I just said. Apparently you can walk right back into the dungeon again. Do you have... What I was looking for is a port. I would like to find a, a shop or a merchant of some sort. I'd like to find the hospital. Because I don't know what kind of shape Abigail is in. It is Abigail. I, I don't, that's, I, anyway, Captain Abigail, we should just head for home. Let's go back to Tortuga and deal with some issues. Uh-oh, we got, we got something on the way. 
Apparently, it might be pirates again. I don't know. Maybe it's one of the merchant ships that we're supposed to be taking down. Uh, no, it's a flat out enemy. Okay, auto fire. A auto, auto fire? Yeah, auto firing. And then I'm just going to basically try to hastily make my way into town. I have no interest in getting into a war right now. Enter, enter the town. And enter, don't crash on the beach. You've crashed on the beach. Enter the town. So first things first, do I need to put the captain in the hospital? Are you still banged up? No, you're back to full health. Okay. That's broadly good. I mean, that's great. I don't know what the parameters would be for you being injured. You were knocked out. You were technically down for the count. Um, can I... All right, get out of her and go to just the regular old... Except not this. The regular old store. Can I sell you things? So I've got some stuff... Can I can I sell you things? So you put the axe fish and the gold monkey skull in your personal items. We never did actually find the air quotes treasure in that dungeon. That's always marked with an X. So we never found that. Um, and Captain, you've put the fireworks in there. It doesn't look like I can sell you any items. So what do I do with these over time if I don't want them anymore? Can I? I can't drag and drop them. No. No. Goods to buy. I don't see goods to sell. Oh, hang on, hang on. If I transfer it to the ship, to ship inventory, this fire actually, do I want those fireworks? Hang on. Put those back in- okay, put those back in your personal inventory. I need somebody who has something vaguely useless. None of these are vaguely useless. Actually, the axe fish, is that any better than your cleaver? Uh, it does have a chance to slow. This is just more brutal, and it's got a plus one strength. It keeps the plus one attack dice and gives a plus one strength. Do I want to trade one for the other? Axe fish or cleaver? You could still keep your shield. Yeah, I'm going to equip that. Equip the axe fish and then put this in the ship inventory. Can I just sell it? Okay, I'm pretty sure I sold that. wasn't actually keeping an eye on my money. Do I want this gold monkey skull? I mean, broadly, yes. It would give me plus two intellect, which I assume would help with the whole checking for traps thing. What else did we uh, come out with? Was it just those things? I'm just going to sell this because I want to see how it works. To ship inventory, I've got 1787 now. I sell it. I've got 2162. Okay, so I can sell things to the store. I just have to sell them from my ship, not from my personal items. Cool. And quick trip to the shipyard before we go. The bacon in the sun is very badly banged up from those pirate attacks. So I will happily spend the 480 to repair bacon in the sun. I've got some main cannons. I could upgrade some things, but I think I'm going to have to unlock some things before I can do that. Reinforced hull sounds very good. Can I can't. Can I just buy this now? Oh, I can. Oh, it's just grayed out because I don't have it. Oh, fair enough. Then we've got we've got to upgrade a chip. That's fine. Um, that just blew a lot of my money. So that's about all we're going to do to the bacon in the sun now. That is probably an excellent place to call it on sync again for today. Do please let me know what you're thinking about this. I could I could plug along with this a little bit more and kind of poke around and have a little bit more fun in it. But as always, it comes down to what I want to play and what you want to watch. And somewhere between those two points, we try to find a happy place. So do please let me know what you're thinking of Sync again. If we want to see some more of this or if we just want to call it there and say, hey, we've had a good look at this, that'll do. Let me know what you're thinking of Sync again. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Some more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine.
I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.